Hello there. Today I'm in my sausage kitchen or the basement again. I want to make some sausage. First I try with some breakfast sausage, a small amount, because I have none sausage at all in more in the freezer. Then I want to make some Turing or Rostbart wurst, some coarse, some fine. Very little coarse, just to play around a bit it, and I will play around with the spices a little bit. You will see later on. I want to show you a short picture how it looks like. This is a breakfast sausage. I took a five millimeter and I spiced it this morning. Then I have here the, the meat for the coarse part was. I got to an eight millimeter. So you get an idea what the holes look like. And then I grind here that is through a three millimeter. But I want to grind the fat yet. This is grounded twice. The spices put in before I grind it. Salt it yesterday. Put the salt in it. And now I want to... Sh the meat was very cold. I should say this first. So that's why I could grind it fine twice. Now I want to grind the fat. I grind it the second time as you can see. This already ground once. But the big thing is you never put too much in, so the grinder transport it by himself. I don't need this plunger. And I should say also the meat was very, very cold out of the fridge, not to the freezer. But as you can see, the transport very nice. And that's what you want to see. When you see in the grinder that the fat comes back, then it's a good, then it most likely get too warm. So that's not good for uh, bratwurst or hot dogs. I just turn the short one more time. I'll put only so much in that I see it disappears. And that is a big grinder. My little grinder wouldn't do it anymore either. He, the guy is 50 years old. As you see, it runs very nice. Now I want to show how I use my buffalo cutter. I use one of the seed. I have that over 40 years. And the ninja that uh, came up in the last few years, I would say within the last five years, I used the uh, food processor and now a ninja. Ninja works better, they don't get hot. When I use the buffalo cutter, I always use, I uh, do the lean meat first and then later on add the fat. With the ninja, I do it different, you will see later on. I have a three pound of meat and I take two pound of ice. I let it run once a little bit. And then I add the ice to it. I take all the ice out in there. And later on, I take it out a little earlier so it's still cold when I mix the lean meat and the, the fat in it. I used to want to show quick, after I got this meat out of my buffalo cutter, I take about some fat and then mix it in right away. For a simple reason, later on when you do it all at once, you figure it's too cold, you can't do it. It's much easier to mix this way. That's it. I want to explain one more time how long I leave that meat in the cutter or in the buffalo cutter. I still want to feel a little ice in it here and there. So I, that, that doesn't get too warm later on. Now I'm done with it. I don't have the feeling for it anymore so I take a thermometer and hold it in. It should be, they say 55 but I want to go 50 or less and then we're good. It went for a long time. It looks 
very very good I forgot to mention on the last scooter once the machine is running I put about uh, 5 gram per pound milk powder in it whenever I make bratwurst I put milk powder in it gives a milder flavor now I want to play around a little bit I don't know if you can see it now I added some more spices to it like Italian sausage I write, write the spices down later on I just mix it a little bit I let it run a few times if I don't mix it I get it all stuck on the cover oh I should talk about this once this got to be learned too when I started learning the butcher trade I had to learn how to clean my fingers off you had to go between each finger and I was told you got to press so hard that it hurts I mean I have not much on it but look there was some on yet then I let it run a few turns and take it out again and then I use two more, more, two more different ones my next experiment is I want to put mustard into the sausage I did it before but I don't remember how much I put in so I just put about 30 gram per pound maybe not enough but that's okay and just and now my last mix is onion powder in it I'm familiar with that we did that often so it's good too but not everybody likes it, like my son don't want it. Now I want to use the ninja. I just put ice in it. I turned the switch on by accident, but that's okay. I want to crush the ice a little bit before I put the meat in. And now I have, remember, three and a, uh, together one and a half pound meat. And I mix it already a little bit. This time I put it in together. And uh, Ninja, I like that better. I did that before. And you let it run. I don't know how long I had had it in the Ninja. I went by the thermometer. We had 48 degrees. I took it out. And now you can see this I did with the buffalo cutter. And this I did with the Ninja. You really cannot tell the difference. This is a little lighter because it's out uh, a little shortly. Then we get a little red or oh, have a little bit of milk powder in. But it looks good both ways. I just wanted to show that you can do with a ninja the exact the same than what you do with a bigger machine or with a buffalo cutter or whatever you have. Now I'm finished with the production. You see here, this is the final bratwurst, the Turing or Ross bratwurst, modified with uh, this is mustard. That's Italian sausage. This is onion in it, onion powder, breakfast sausage, and course bratwurst. Now I gotta put them in a the casing. That's the easiest. Now I have my sausage all uh, steamed or cooked or whatever you want to call it. Put it in the pot that goes between 70 and 80, and that size about 15 minutes. Then they're done. They put them in cold water, cool it off a little bit, and now I pack them. I use the hand wrap called Food Saver, Food Saver Film. I will pack sacks in one package. That's my what I like. Just 
wrap it around a few times. That is a little loose because it's almost empty. Up, and then I'm marking so I know later on what's in it. Because as you know, we have this time five different kinds. If you don't mark them, you don't know what it is. And tomorrow I will put some on the grill, and then I give you my, uh, what they call a test power, my, my tasting. Good afternoon. Now we're the next day. I just have my barbecue on and I fried some samples. So now I want to analyze what I made. As you see, I had some needles on the back, so I know exactly what, what, what I'm talking about. Number one is the regular bratwurst. The texture is very good, the flavor is very good. I don't want to eat it, I don't want to talk with a full mouth. The next one was the same, only with mustard in. And I lost a little of the texture, and I really can't taste the mustard. I don't want never do it again. Now the next one is the coarse hot dog. Coarse bratwurst, they're not hot dogs. Coarse bratwurst. One of my favorite. Better than the first one. The next one is with onions. I had onion powder in. I used it before. And I don't have one of onion powder in. The onion powder is not, the flavor is not there yet, what I was looking for. I did that before. <coughs> now the last one is spiced like, I added like Italian spices to it. Also next time I would add a little more. But the texture on those are good. Only one is not so good with the mustard in. I lost a little of the texture, so like I said before, I will never try it again. So now, I hope you do it sometimes. <coughs> it's worth the effort. I don't know if you ever saw my other movies. If you want to see my other movies, you go on Eckerhart. Spelled E C K K E H A R D, the German butcher, and you find all my movies. If you want to see them all at the same time, click on videos, and you see only my movies. Now be honest. Now I can eat. Good appetit. I gotta come back one more time. I tell you what, I ate some of the bratwurst. And I don't care what I said before, the art is pretty good. The one with the mustard is okay, still tastes good. I just don't like the texture. All you really need is a little bratwurst that need no bread or mustard with it. And a good beer. Very good. Now I gotta go and fry the rest of the bratwurst. And I did not mark down what is what. They all go in the same stomach. 